let's take a look at this first part and see uh, where you're going wrong. And let me um, get my desktop changed back. We got the fourth root of three x to the fourth y squared. Now the instructions say to um, simplify each radical expression. <clears throat> now to begin with, we have x to the fourth. That's uh, four x's. and then y squared. Well, the index of 4 means we're looking for a set of 4 of something. So these 4 x's are going to come out in front as a single x. Now you can't have a negative number come out of a radical with an even index though, so this will have absolute value bars around it. And then we're left with the 4th root of 3 y squared. Now this I can break up into the fourth root of three times the fourth root of y squared. So we got the absolute value of x. Fourth root of three we can't do much with. Now whenever your your index and all of your powers inside can be divided by the same number you do so. Four and two can both be divided by two. Four divided by two is two and 2 divided by 2 is 1. <clears throat> so we've got the absolute value of x, the uh, fourth root of 3, and this is just simply the square root of y. <clears throat> now, um, let's see, fourth root of um, 3, absolute value of x, and then uh, the square root of y. And uh, here they got absolute value bars around the y. What, why they're doing that is because at this point, see how this is a squared? That means that y can be anything. It can be negative, it can be positive. But once we divide this, then you have to uh, worry about is this positive or negative? Up here it's taken care of. And that's why they'll put the absolute value bars inside there. Oh, and the order, um, the last thing, the order, you can uh, rearrange it however they want. Numbers typically go first.